Hello everyone. Let us discuss another type of problems on nomenclature. In this particular question, we have been asked to find what would be the IUPAC name of a compound which has a given structure. So, as usual, what you need to identify is to first identify the longest chain or the number of carbon atoms involved. Second, identify the principal functional group and third, identify the substituents. The number of carbon will give you the middle part or the uh, main part of the I IUPAC name. The principal functional group will determine your suffix or the root name and substituents and its positions will determine the prefix or the starting part of your name. So based on that, let us see, we can, we can make the following observations from this particular structure. We can see that it has 5 carbon atoms including COOH group. We know that when we have uh, groups like COOH or aldehyde groups CHO or CN, that particular carbon atom will be involved in the numbering and they will not act separately as another functional group. So based on that here we have 5 carbon atoms including COOH group. We can also see that there are 2 functional groups. What are the 2 functional groups? We have an alkene functional group here and we have a carboxylic acid functional group. So now since we have two functional group, we need to determine which one will be the principal functional group and which one will act as a substituent. Now in this case, we can see that alkene is a type of hydrocarbon and since COO has the highest priority, that is this will be having the highest priority in the priority of functional groups. So because of that, the lower the numbering will start from this side. Why? Because we have to remember that numbering is done in such a way that the principal functional group will get the lowest number. In this case, out of alkene and COH group, COH has the highest priority and therefore that will act as the principal functional group. Now let's see how to do the numbering in this. Based on that, we can see that numbering would be 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5 where 1 goes to COH and the alkene is numbered at position 2. So now we can see that suffix is nothing but oic acid because suffix determine it comes from your principal functional group which is a carboxylic acid and there is no prefix in this because there are no substituents or any other group attached to the main chain. Now how many carbon atoms are there? There are 5 carbon atoms that means the system would be pent or the prefix would be pent. Now let us uh, based on the information that we have just discussed the name of this particular compound would be pent 2 in 1 oic acid because we can see that this is the suffix uh, derived from COH group pent because it is we have 5 carbon atoms there is no prefix or there are no other groups attached to this particular main chain and the second thing the intriguing thing is to identify or position the alkene group here. So here alkene is at position 2 so based on that the name of this structure or the compound would be pent. 2 in, in corresponding to the double bond and 1 oic acid because 1 will be referring to the position or the principal functional group. I hope this is very clear.